bitch wanna fuck me, get your ass in Don't you hang up on that, all that fashion If a nigga try me up, you know we blast in Yeah, walk in, start taxing What's good, YouTube? It's Vine, I'm back with another video. I ain't gonna lie, I'm excited for this one. I'm really excited for this one. Uh, so, this is part two of my gun review, my Glock 26 Gen 5. And uh, in this video, I'm gonna be putting my attachments on. Um, I got two attachments for my gun. I got the, I don't know if y'all can see that, TLR6. Uh, it's the red dot, not the red dot, but the red beam and flashlight combo. Uh, I think this is like a very popular team when it comes to the Glock 26 at least. Then the second attachment I got is the um, pinky extension. I hope I got the right one because on the box it say for Gen 4 magazines only. So I'm going to be mad because on the website it said this is for Glock 26 Gen 5. I don't know if I have to be specific but I hope this fit on there or else I'm going to be pissed. Even though this cost like $9 still I had to wait on it and I even seen it in the store so it's just like if it don't fit, I'm gonna be mad because now I gotta go to the store and buy it and then do all the extra stuff. But hopefully it fit, I think it is. But uh, yeah, so we finna get to this video. I hope y'all enjoy it. Let's get it. Alright, y'all. So first we finna put this on, which is the pinky extension, just so I can get a full grip on my uh, gun. And yeah, this is what it looked like. Wait, did this come out? Yeah. So you got these two little pieces right here. I believe this going in right there. I, I ain't gonna lie. I seen, I watched a few videos on it. So hopefully this goes smooth. But some of the videos I've been seeing, people been struggling with, with getting the, the actual clip. Not clip, but the actual mag to like come out from the bottom, I guess. I know one dude had pliers and I ain't got no pliers. So we about to make this happen. So just give me one second, I gotta go get my little tube. Oh yeah, this jump hard. You see? Uh. Well, yeah, it was an epic fail. <laughs> Bro, I don't understand why this shit is so hard. Like doing this shit is so hard, but I messed up one of my mags. You know, I pushed the little hole in there and then I can't get this off. I can't get this slide back. And some of the videos I just started watching, they use pliers. And I ain't got no pliers. So this Mac right here and this is going in the trash. I'm just end up buying me a Mac that already got the pinky thing. So yeah, I'm gonna have to end up throwing those in the trash cause I don't feel like messing with that all day. Yeah, that's a mag wasted, but I'm not tripping. I could buy more. So yeah, now I'm down to two mags, y'all. Since the pinky thing was a, the pinky extension was a fail, uh, we just go move on to the, uh, TR, TLR uh, stream light. Hopefully this go on right or this going in the trash dude. <laughs> no cap. And by the way, the my grip on my gun is not actually, it's not bad at all. Like when I uh, when I was shooting it, I didn't feel like I needed a pinky extension. I just know like when I went to the um, gun store like before my gun came. Um, they had a Glock 26 with a pinky extension on it, so it did feel good with it on it. But I'm not tripping if I don't have one. It, I don't really tell the difference for real. Maybe because I don't have like super big hands. I don't know. I could say I got medium sized hands or like small, mediums. I don't know. It's medium. <laughs> Every one of them. But yeah, I don't have super big hands, so that's why I think it's not a bad grip. And again, this is what it looked like. I got two fingers on it, and then my pinky hang off. If I had the pinky extension on there, you know, I would get a full grip. But like I said, shooting it, I shot it one hand, two hands. It felt comfortable, so it's not bad. But I'm still going to get a pinky extension. It's just I can't do it myself. So I mean, I can, yeah, I can't do it. So I don't need it. Yeah, this is what it looked like. I gotta break my neck to get it to focus or else it's gonna pick up my face. Yeah, this is what it look like. And then it comes in this package with, with this, the two batteries. Is it focusing? Yeah, the two batteries and then the, I think that's an Allen wrench again. So yeah, I'm finna put this on and hopefully it goes much better than the PK extension because that shit was hard, dumb hard. 
So the first thing we gotta do is we gotta take these little screws out. Hopefully it focus. Come on, pick this up. Yeah, so we gotta take them little, the three little screws out right there, right there, and right there. So I'm gonna do that first. Yeah, so I took the three little screws off and then I believe, let me see. So yeah, I, I can't mess this up. This cost me a hundred dollars. That little pinky extension cost me like, I don't know, like five dollars or something like that. So that's why I don't care about, you know, throwing away the mag or whatever. I just get one that already has, you know, the pinky extension on it. But yeah, I definitely can't mess this up, y'all, cause this boy cost me a hundred dollars. So yeah, y'all, okay, I figured it out. So gotta open the bottom part right here. Then you put the two batteries in. You know, the positive side, which is the little plus. Hopefully, it, uh, zoom in on it. Yeah, the little plus facing up. Put it in there. Then you close it. Yeah. So look, the flash. Wait, that's the flash. There you go. I think you gotta press it like three times to get the damn red dot. So you got the flash and the you got the flash and the dot. Let me see if it zoom in. You can't see the dot, but you got the flash and the dot. Then you got the flash itself. Then you got the dot. So yeah, that's dope. Oh, so that's how you do it. So when you press both of these together, that's how you basically select the mode. So like right now, it's on the red dot. Then you just press one of the sides, it'll turn off, turn it back on, it's the dot again. But if you turn it on, then press both of them together, you get both sides. So then when you turn it off, whatever mode you leave it on, that's the mode it's gonna stay on. So this is the flash by itself, turn it off, flash again, press the mode, dot by itself. So yeah, that's clean, so yeah. So press two of them, so it's three modes. It's one with the dot alone, the flash alone, and then the dot and the flash. You press both sides to do, you know, to select the mode, one of the three modes. Then you press the right side. I believe you could press either one just by itself, and then that's how you turn it off and on. So yeah. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna actually put it on. This kind of what like, it look like without the body part on it. Come on, come on. This is the one of the, see, this camera is real good at picking up my face. So it's like, I gotta move my face out the way sometimes just to get it to focus on other stuff. But yeah, this is what it looks like outside of the, like the body, you know, the little plastic body that goes on it. So yeah, so now I'm finna actually put it on my gun. So again, there's no mag in it. No mag in my gun. And it's a clear. It's clear, so there's no bullets in it. Um, yes, yeah, so I believe you just do one. I'm gonna try to do it. You just put one side on it like this. Yeah, close it in like that. Hopefully y'all can see. I'm trying to scoot close. So yeah, you just put one side in there like that. And then you can get the other part of the body. Put it on. Like that, you see, so now it is on. This what it look like. Bro, y'all know when like y'all set something down really quick and then you go back to get it and it's lost, like it's gone. The battery's probably outside, crib walking. <laughs> All right, I found them. <laughs> it's a struggle, boy, I'm telling you. Oh uh, yeah, so you put the batteries in it with the plus side facing you. Come on, focus on the plus side, if y'all can see that. Put it in there. Put it into the bottom right here. Hopefully y'all can see it. Close that joint down, you go hear a little click. Then I'm gonna try to do it like this. So yeah, these are the little buttons on the side right here. Um, 
Yeah, you can see the uh, red dot. <laughs> Ooh, you niggas in trouble. That's just pressing one side, this side right here. Red dot. Then if you press both sides, red dot and flash. Flashlight alone. Red dot again. Then just press one side to turn it off and on. See, it's real clean. I like it. So, yeah, this is how it look. TLR6. Stream light. Empty mag. Unfortunately, I couldn't put my mag extension on it. But we just go pretend like I did. Pretend like I got a pinky grip on it. And yeah, I could not get it. I could not get it to, uh, you know, to open. After you put it on there, you gotta make sure that you put the um, screws back on there. Yeah, you put the little three screws in there. I don't know if you can see that. Cause it's probably, soon, it's probably uh, picking up my face. Put the three screws in it. You see the three screws in there now. Then this little Allen wrench right here comes with the stream light, so that's good. And you know, you know the deal. Lefty loosey, righty tighty. You know what I'm saying? Females, y'all should know that. You can't be lefty loosey. You gotta be righty tighty, or niggas ain't gonna fuck with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Unfortunately, we do have some females that's out here walking around lefty loosey. And the females, y'all, y'all know, y'all, the ones, y'all know, y'all know if y'all got the righty tighty. Come on now, y'all already know this. Y'all should know this. Pretty much, if you if you catch a female in Miami, she might have the lefty Lucy. I ain't gonna lie, but uh, feel me, all the females that's that's nice and tight, y'all, y'all, y'all the righty tighties. Y'all should already know what's going on. Y'all know what I mean when I say that, right? But yeah, you put these three screws on, make sure it's tight. Put these two screws on. Sorry if I'm not in the frame most of the time. I'm trying to focus because I'm low-key mad that I messed my little mag up. I wanted this to go smooth. This is supposed to be a smooth little video for y'all to watch. But yeah, you put that in there until you feel it's tight enough. I would advise you not to make it too tight just in case you want to ever switch this out for a different light or anything like that. But yeah, this is what it looks like with the uh, string light on it. Again, it's supposed to have the pinky extension, but I couldn't get it to do it. Um, hopefully no one out there, you know, uh, has problems with seizures or anything like that. That's why I'm doing it this way and not at the camera. So again, we got the red dot. Then we got the flashing dot. Just the flash, red dot, and then off. Again, I ain't gonna point it at the camera and do it because I don't know if anyone, you know, is uh, prone to uh, seizures or anything like that. So I don't wanna cause no seizures or anything like that. So y'all, if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and comment. Uh, turn on your post notifications so you get notified every time I drop a video and I figured out how to turn my comments back on um, I realized when I was when I first started uploading again I would put my videos on uh, You know like for kids it asks you like is it for kids or not and you got the option to say yes or no And all the videos that I put yes on they turn my comments off I don't know why but the videos where I said it's not for kids you could comment anything so yeah my, ugh. I need to get a retwist, y'all, so don't worry about my hair. I know I'm looking ugly, but you ain't got to worry about that. But yeah, for all the videos that I put no, my comments is now back on. So that's a good thing. So I'm geeked. I'm happy that I fixed it. So yeah, go down in the comment section and comment whatever. You know, um, comment some type of videos y'all want to see, any type of gun videos y'all want to see. Uh, the next video that I will upload will either be me trying out a holster or me uh, going to the range or back to the country to get some shooting videos in. Whichever one, um, of course, I'm gonna record and y'all will get to see it. So again, if you, like, if you enjoyed this video, um, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. 
turn on post notifications so you get notified every single time I upload a video. And that is the end of my gun review. Glock 26 Gen 5 Streamlight. And we go pretend the pinky extension is on here because when I do get it, yeah, that's gonna be my little, um, you know, attachments that I added. Uh, as far as anything else, I don't know what else I'm gonna change on it. I'm not sure yet. I'll probably figure out later on. But for right now, this is how my gun looks. And yeah, so stay tuned, y'all, because the next gun I'm gonna pick up is gonna be lit. You feel me? The only, the only um, hint I'm gonna give y'all is that it is considered a pistol. That's it. That's the only thing I'm gonna say. So when it is available, because right now it's sold out. I done looked it up, but it's sold out, so I can't buy it right now. But when I do, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna do a review on it, show y'all how it look, take it to the range, shoot it, and things like that. It's a few guns that I want, so yeah. Just be on the lookout, turn on your post notifications so that you could be the first one to watch the video. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. I promise. Sheesh.